So this is a bit of an exclusive for car sales because behind me is the new McLaren Elva. And we're one of the first people in the world to, well, to see a car that's apparently 98% finished, 95%, and something like that. So let's have a look at it. This thing is drop dead gorgeous. But it's also quite strange because it's lacking something quite fundamental for a car that does 350 kilometers per hour. There's no windscreen. <laughs> now that is because uh, McLaren being McLaren has devised something fiendishly clever and it's called the AAMS, the Active Air Management System. And it works a bit like the race car over there. You see that little flap on a race car that helps generate downforce over the front axle but in the Elva, it does something far more clever. It actually directs the air up here through this flap over the cabin. Now, believe it or not, that makes this car comfortable at speeds of up to 120 kilometers per hour. Now, apparently you can actually have a conversation at those speeds. It doesn't make sense, but McLaren doesn't tell lies. But the thing we really love about this car is it's been created for people who just love driving. I mean, this car has no luggage space to speak of. Actually, that's a bit of a lie. There's this tonneau here that keeps your two crash helmets for when you're gonna drive, what, over 150 kilometers per hour. This car has just been created for people who just wanna take it out for a fang. And that's why there's no big spoiler at the back. This car doesn't major in downforce. And yes, it does have a drift mode because, wait for it, this car's even more powerful than a Senna. This thing has 600 kilowatts and 800 newton meters of torque. But even more ridiculous is it's lighter too. I think this car is gonna weigh in at around, what, 1,000 kilos? It's around 100 kilos less than the Senna. The Elva also features an advanced aero. So all of these little intakes, they're functional. Now there's one there, there's one under there, and then there's another there. And if you come to the back of the car, there's these really, really cool blades that take out the turbulent air, again, to reduce lift on the rear axle. But perhaps the best feature at the back of the car is this exhaust system. Now McLaren says this is its Nirvana exhaust because basically it thinks nothing sounds better. And that's because <laughs> it started off with the objective of how can we make this sound as good as possible? So what they've done is they've combined the 600 LT's top pipes with these pipes down here. So this has the high end frequency sound, the screaming bit, and this bit down here, this uses the road as like a bass tube. So this is the bassy bit. And apparently it sounds phenomenal. 